What is going on guys, it's Wafa here, and welcome back to some more Bridge Constructor Portal. Man, we only have a few more levels left until the end of the series, so let's just jump right into it. We have Small Bang for Your Buck and Loop De Loop that I guess we're going to be doing this episode, I guess? I don't know, maybe this is going to be the last episode, depending on how long these two other levels are. Might be able to squeeze in that level 60 brain transplant. Anyways, let's just jump right into Small Bang for Your Buck, level 58. Ooh, okay, so the name does make sense for this one. Okay, so we're going to have a word from GLaDOS and the danger of falling to sewage, and that's it. Small bang for your buck, and there's the beginning, there's the end right there. I guess, well, I, I have a rough idea of what you're supposed to do already, so anyways, let's just see what GLaDOS has to say, and I guess jump right in. Yeah, look at that, even the convoy is small. Only three forklifts long. Let's see what GLaDOS has to say, and we can just jump right in this level. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Oh, all right. Well, I guess that's it. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button because, well, that level's impossible, so no real need to try and do it, right? So <laughs> let's just go on to level 59. Ah, <laughs> uh, never mind. Let's just go into level 58. Jeez. But that one does seem rather simple. Maybe she's just trying to throw us off. Either that or maybe I have something wrong here. Yeah, I already heard that. <laughs> uh, maybe now that I think about it, it might be a little bit harder than I thought. Yeah, maybe she might have something. She might be onto something. She might be spreading some real news. Maybe it is actually really hard. So all the anchor points are over here. You can't build on a laser or pass a laser or anything like that. So we have to somehow make a bridge between this gap using only the anchor points that are there and there. Hmm. I guess if anything, we could try. I uh, mean, I don't know. Try and extend out few of these like maybe like this or something like that you know if if we even can um, yeah we might be able to do that hold on let's try that can i connect that yes i can hmm how stable is that not very stable might be able to make it insanely stable here in a second though just by connecting it here and there let's get rid of that for right now and boom that's directly connected now i don't know what that's going to help out with but <laughs> i guess we could uh oh yeah there we go connect that as well nice just trying to connect everything together you know Ooh, that might actually work right there. Hmm, can I move that down? I can, and boom! Ooh, it is kind of wiggly. It is kind of wiggly. If anything, we might want to make tethers here. Ooh, actually, now that I think about it, hold on, yeah. Make tethers down to there. Ooh, we might have something here, you guys. As long as that doesn't break, you know? Hopefully it doesn't. So let's try and do the same thing over here on this other side. I don't know how we did that. <laughs> All right, I think I have something. We got something going on here. Ooh, that is falling though. Ooh, hopefully, hopefully both of them together will kind of cancel that out. Let's see if I'm able to make it about right there. Okay, then of course we're going to have a road here. Probably best to make it out of two roads, maybe even three. If we can, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be kind of tough here, you guys. Might want to also connect it to the top instead of just the bottom. Also use the top and if I can, ooh, yeah, even connect it to the other points over here. Yeah, that's good. Let's try and connect it as many times as possible here. That way we have is that all connected there we go now it's all connected that way we have as much strength holding this bridge area up over here as possible but for right now i think we've got it all right let's turn into roads let's see how that goes test drive oh it's not working man ah, yeah that's uh, man I, I think i had the right idea you know, kind of like a, a right idea. I just feel like maybe, maybe, perhaps, we could even connect these here in the middle. Boom, boom, Hada. And then uh, maybe add even more strength by adding, I guess, just triangles here at the top. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to help, but I guess maybe it is. There's only one way to find out, and that's just by trying it and seeing what happens. God, this is going to be crazy if this actually works. It looks completely just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it does not look like it's supposed to work, but it might work, you don't know. You know and of course, that even adds a couple more anchor points here for us. Perfect. Let's see if that's going to help out with the, uh, the suspension. I, I think the suspension of it is fine. I think it's able to hold it up just fine. But the thing is, the weight of it all, you know, the weight of it all together, that's where the problem lies. Because it, there's just not enough strength on the top side. But now that we've added all those heckin' triangles up there, maybe it's going to work. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, I... I see what we're doing here. I see this this one right here definitely gives out first. What if we could actually circumvent that by maybe doing a, a half thing like that, maybe? Ooh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Cause I can't I can't bring it out like that or else it turns red, you know? So mmm. Man, man. What if we could do that? I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Da da 
nah, nah, that's not gonna work. Man, this is overcomplicated as heck, you guys. <laughs> I'm doing here. I really just want to kind of clear the construction. Wait, can I hit back? Oh, oh, that's really nice to know. Because I kind of want to keep this and just kind of build from here. I think I'm going to pause the recording and try and figure this out. I'm like, we have the general idea down, you know? Yeah, what if we clear it? And therefore, clear our head, clear our mind, and try and get a fresh approach to this. I wonder if we could figure something out. So I think I'm going to pause the recording real quick. See if I'm able to figure out a solution for this that'll, you know, actually work. <laughs> and I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, I'm, I'm back, and uh, this is really rough. I don't even know what I'm doing here. This, uh, I don't, I don't even know how to explain this. I just kind of built something, okay? <laughs> and it, it seems like it works decently. So we have, of course, this support pillar right here, and then we also have this over here that has a bunch of hacking other support things for it too, just kind of as backup. And I think it's actually working pretty well here. It is, it is pretty simple. It is pretty simple. It doesn't come out like to here like it originally did. It's kind of just going upwards to there. Uh, and it seems to be working just fine. Of course, it is all connected with tethers there. Like I said earlier, I feel like that's the only way we're going to do this. So, anyways, let's see what test drive. It is really red. Look at those. Oh, is it going to hold up though? Ooh, might want to make it, maybe make it ramp up or something like that. But we got it right. We got it. Because I'm pretty sure it's, it's going to stop them there. And therefore, the convoy is going to add so much weight to that bridge where it just heckin' breaks, I think, right? Oh, no, 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 mind. Oh, they're making it. Could kind of make a little bit of a... A little bit of a tilt there at the end to make that... Yeah. Hey, I guess we could... Hold on, let's, let's go back to convoy. Let's go back to build. Let's make that curve up just a tiny little bit. Hopefully that's going to open out a little bit. But thankfully, those two really red piston things are supports. Those did not give out, which is fantastic. $76,100 on this one. Really, really cheap. All right. Well, we didn't really spend that much time on this, to be quite honest. We might be able to squeeze in that third and final level brain transplant. But before we do that, we still have one more level to do, and it's loop-de-loop. -loop. Very excited about this one. So, yep, loop-de-loop. -loop. No word from GLaDOS, unfortunately. We do have the propulsion gel that's going to speed us up. We're going to be hitting buttons with our forklifts, crossing paths with our forklifts, and then, of course, the danger of lasers, and there are a whole lot of those down there. And, of course, the danger of falling into sewage, just like always, right? And it's just, it's, oh, man, there's a lot of anchor points here, which is good. And I assume the loop-de-loop -loop point happens here. There's propulsion gel that's going to speed you up. I assume you're going to go loop do 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 and then maybe go... Ooh, hold on. Ooh, maybe I have it a little bit wrong. Maybe it's going to go like this. Ooh, maybe something like that. Ooh, kind of like an elongated loop-de-loop -loop or something like that. Ooh, very interesting stuff. I think that's what we're going to be doing on this level. And it was just starting from the... Be Actually, that is like at the beginning, isn't it? Hold on. Sheesh. Yeah, look at that. Like right off the bat, you just kind of curl up into a snail shell and just kind of do a loop-de-loop -loop right there and then once you go through the teal portal which is one of i think two oh wait hold on Ooh, down here is the end we need to somehow deactivate the Ooh, whoa 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 a lot of things are going on right now you guys how are we going to go back here though once we deactivate the laser and we of course deactivate that by uh oh man i don't know let's just find out where okay so here's where the teal portal comes out of it goes shoots across this big thing which should be easy piece no problem just make a bridge there then it looks like we're going to be making for a bridge there to hit that button and i guess maybe do another loop-de-loop -loop or something ah uh, man i don't know can't really tell very much i have a feeling i'm like it did say we're going to cross paths I have a feeling we're going to be coming out of this again, like going out this way. And then, of course, the propulsion gel is going to speed us up to go back. Boom, boom, boom. And then somehow we're going to make our way back down here and then to the end or something. I mean, thankfully, the convoy is only six. But I don't know what we're doing here. I feel like I might be missing something. Here. Like We need to somehow get down to that yellow portal down here and then come out of that portal, which I guess means we're facing that way, which means we're going to be going back through the teal. I feel like we're doing a loop-de-loop -loop here, and maybe it goes down like this, you know? Something like that. And we come out of there, and of course we'll go back through the teal, and this is probably where it's talking about us crossing paths. Ooh, that's a good thing right there, yeah. Just kind of uh, float that above, and then uh, of course- oh, maybe not. Maybe not right there, because of course you want them to get as much of that propulsion gel as possible, to speed up as much as possible. Of course they're going to be coming out of the portal and getting even more of that propulsion gel. We're going to be doing another loop-de-loop -loop and somehow going through there once the lasers deactivate. Of course, hitting that one button deactivates both lasers, which is good. Hmm. I feel like that's what we're doing here, so clear construction. I think it's going to be easy peasy, no problemo. Just, uh, going up. 
But the real problem is what if we come back down? How are we going to do that? And then also have room for... I'm like, the convoy's only six. So it's not like we have 12 of these guys going through. There's not that big of a danger of us uh, running into each other, you know? But there's still that danger. So we still have to watch out for that, you know? So, man, I don't know quite what we're going to do here. But uh, this ramp right here seems to be... Eh, seems to be pretty nice, not bad. Might want to start curving this in a little bit. And boom... Maybe start curving it a little bit right there. Because I want them to get as much of that propulsion gel as possible. So there we go. Something like that, maybe. Maybe try and round this out a little bit more by putting... Ah, maybe that's about as good as they're going to get. Man, I don't know. Something like that, I guess, right? Anyways, we can directly connect this to those. And that should be fine. Should be fine. Because, of course, this one is directly connected to an anchor. So is this one right there so um, should be fine on that one if anything we could add a little bit more stability there because of course they do have a lot of propulsion gel might want to add a little bit more stability just in case it does you know break so there you go that should be fine should be fine and of course we're going to have this little loop de loop over here that we need to worry about and uh man there is this anchor point here i need to use too i don't know if we're going to need that let's just do a test ride real quickly i know that's collapsing over there but i want to see if these initial bridges oh yeah look at that Ooh, hold on Ooh, might not need, like, this bit over here. Might just need something over here to catch them. And then boom, 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 boom. Something like that. Very simple. Easy peasy, you know. Let's see how this goes. Oh, turn that back into a road. Let's see how this fares holding everyone up. Because eh, I'm like, this one's going to need to be pretty strong. Because, of course, they're going to be launching over here from all the way over there on the other side of the heckin' map. So we're going to need to watch out for that. But let's do a test drive. And let's see. Hmm. Do I need this? Ah, probably, probably get rid of that one. That one that's kind of floating right there. So it looks like we don't really need the roadway. We have so much of this propulsion gel here. And it kind of catches them. Ooh, really jelloey there. And then, of course, they come out of that. Yeah, okay, so I think we have this first bit down pretty well. If anything, we might want to add a bunch more supports here. Because this one, yeah, maybe do something like this. Because this one right here, whenever they hit this one initially, it's got so much heckin' force. We definitely want them to kind of ease up on that heckin' force. Make sure this one doesn't jello and break and stuff on the way down. So there's that, just to add a little bit of this triangle skeleton action, if you'll exo heckin' skeleton. <laughs> Let's see how that one fares. A bunch of extra supports to add a little bit more rigidity. This one is bouncing down there, but I think we're going to be modifying that here in the future. Ooh, a little bit more strong on that one. And we're going to need some sort of ramp here. Just a small little ramp to kind of make them go upwards a little bit more, you know. Maybe something like that, I suppose. And then, of course, connect that, I guess, back there for whatever reason. <laughs> See how that one goes. So if we're going to make it to the other side. But this loop-de-loop -loop one over here, I'm liking this. Seems to be doing a pretty decent job. That one over there is holding up pretty well. And now he's going to be able to make it over to that button. Oh, he's going to die. Oh, yep, he exploded. Man. All right, well, we have the initial stage of this done. I feel like I want to brainstorm a little bit off camera. Try and figure out what we're going to be doing over here. But I think our initial brainstorming phase, like five minutes ago, I think I think we got a lot of good progress done trying to figure things out. But we're going to need to probably flip and then come down to this one, come out of this one, go back there, make a dual layer sort of thing, double decker. And then, of course, maybe make, uh, make a little bit of a hole right here for them to fall through. So we can go through the laser and then to the end. I wonder how we're going to do that. And of course, whenever they're going to be coming out of this portal and then going like that, need to add a little bit of a little bit of a road like this. Maybe something like that. Might need to do something like that. Well, either way, I'm going to try and figure it out off camera real quick. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. And hopefully I actually figure out how to do this heckin' level. Man, <laughs> I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, guys, back. Check this out. This looks like absolute and utter crash. But it seems like it works. I just did that a few times with the singular forklift. Haven't haven't technically beaten this just yet to move on to the convoy, but let's just do a test drive with one forklift. As you can see, there is a hole here in the middle for them to fall down into whenever they come through the other way. They even have a ramp right there to kind of ease them into that area whenever they're like, ah, well, you guys will see it here in just a bit, but you can see they're doing a loop-de-loop -loop right there, going down to that yellow portal. I am pretty sure this is what we're supposed to do. Then it comes out of the portal, and then there's where that ramp comes into play. It's going to slide them down, and then they're going to go down to this. I could make this a lot better. Could make it a lot better. But, of course, there is that laser in the way that's kind of stopping us from just connecting everything together, you know? So, but anyways, there you go. $231,650 spent on the singular forklift. Let's see if the convoy is going to be able to do this. I'm really concerned about this bridge down here. Do you guys know how bouncy it was just moments ago? Really concerned about that one, because I don't know how well that's going to hold up. Whenever there's six people... Gonna be crashing on the thing. Ooh. 
There's a risk of them running into each other right there, but the, so far, no one's run into each other yet. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're doing pretty well so far. We get a zoomed out view. Oh no! On the right, there's a... There's a crash! Oh, no, no, no! 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 On the bridge! Yes, just like I said earlier! Even if the bridge held up, we still have one guy stuck over here. That's what I'm talking about. There's like an altercation going on over here. Man! I really need to... I kind of want to build this bridge again from scratch and see if I'm able to make it any better. Because, of course, I, there's only three anchor points here. I can't really make it any better than it currently is. Well, yeah, of course I can. But I can't really, you know, improve on it too much beyond what I already have, you know? So... Anyways, I guess if anything, I could ramp this up and maybe just use only these two anchor points right here. Of course, that'd make it a million times easier. I don't have to worry about the whole entire thing basically being a whole suspension bridge, you know? Uh, having a risk of falling down and all that kind of stuff, you know? But, of course, over here, I could kind of just add a bunch of stuff randomly. <laughs> just kind of add a little bit of stability, you know? But uh, let's just add a bunch of random trash here just to see if that'll help out a little bit. And of course, this one isn't really connected too much to anything. So, oh man, I'm like, I'm doing stuff all over the place. What am I doing? Sheesh. <laughs> but uh, let's try and add a triangle there. Just a classic triangle. Boom. Add a little bit of uh, supports and stuff. And just kind of add that to like everything, you know? Might as well. And directly connect that one to the anchor point. Not directly, but almost directly, you know? About as direct as I can get. Just adding as much stuff here as possible. Try and make it as strong as possible. And I think we have a... Pretty thing going, a uh, pretty good thing going on right there. Of course, over here there is a little bit of a problem. Uh, whenever they're like crashing into the heckin' runway there, I guess you could call it. <laughs> I could make it a little bit better, of course. I know, but uh, man, uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess I could. Yeah, I guess I could kind of make it slant down and kind of easily feed them through that instead of making them heckin' crash into it. <laughs> I guess uh, it's gonna be like this, and it's gonna slowly maybe do something like that, you know? I guess I could do that, and also use this as a little bit of support, you know, the top part of this Hacken Bridge. Might be able to do that as a little bit of a support thing right there, so that's pretty good. See how well that's gonna hold up, but uh, let's just add a bunch of random Hacken Triangles here, see if we're gonna be able to connect everything together. Yeah, it seems to be ran- I don't know what the heck that's all about. <laughs> well, let's just try and connect everything together. Let me try and keep track of what everything is here in terms of roads and stuff. And then just kind of add that, just might as well, right? Uh, I really want them to use as much of that roadway as possible. That way they have uh, enough speed coming out of the portal and stuff, you know? So I kind of want to make that come down a little bit more, but I don't know if I really can make it do that without running into a little bit of trouble. I guess we could always just do a test drive here in just a moment and see how well it actually holds up and aims them into the portal and all that kind of stuff. Let's worry about that here in a second. But for right now, we're kind of adding a bunch of heckin' supports and stuff here. <laughs> just one, all right. There you go, just ran. Anyways, let's just see how this holds up. I don't know if it's going to hold up very well, but we're doing the convoy right here. Let's get a big picture view, a nice zoomed out view. So this initial loop-de-loop -loop over there seems to be holding up pretty well. This one right here as well. The main problem is here towards the end. I'm like, they're not really crashing into each other here on this little thing right there. So that's good. Seems like that's doing a better job. They're feeding them through the portal with a lot of speed and everything. Even though they're tumbling out of there. Mmm. Ooh, over here, though, we're having a little bit of problems. No! Okay, it looks like we solved the problem of them all coming over here. And there's four destroyed right there, yeah. So it seems like we figured out the problem and kind of a, got a solution, a somewhat of a solution there. <laughs> I guess you could call it. But, uh, of course, they're still crashing into it and stuff like that. And Tech and Nine, so we still need to worry about that, too. If anything, I could just kind of add a bunch of random stuff here and see if we'll be able to connect it all together. No, can't, man. And, ah, man, I can't do that. What if I move this over just a little? Ah, man, everything's, everything's already about stretched as possible. Can't directly connect that. Can't make that go up anymore. Man, just barely short of that. How well is that going to hold up? Uh, ah, man, I don't know. I really just want to add, like, a bunch. And I mean a heckin' bunch. Of supports, like, all over the place. Just see how it holds up and stuff, you know? Ah, man, but that might be about as good as we're going to get. If anything, we could add some tethers. Yeah, we could add some tethers. But that wouldn't really add too much extra stability, you know? But uh, I guess we could always try it. Nah, it's not really doing too much. And of course, I can't add a tether here because there's a laser in the way. So I guess if anything, we can see if that helped it out any. Oh, it's already red down there. They're going to be crashing into that at a high speed. But I really like this. Kind of ramps them down. Kind of feeds them into the uh, into the portal with the, with the gel, the propulsion gel. Seems to be doing a pretty good job there. And let's just keep an eye on them. Hopefully they're... Not gonna break that bridge down there. Hopefully it's gonna hold up a little bit better. They're coming out of this portal now, which is good. And I can't really control them too much whenever they come out of that. 
They're kind of tumbling there, which is good. Mmm, seems to be doing a better job this time. Even though... Woo, that's broken. Come on, hold on. Oh, oh no, man, you guys see how close that was? Man, man. Wait, what in the world? I directly connected this tether to a hack and anchor point, so that... <laughs> That didn't even really do anything, man! Oh my god, okay, well, uh, let's go back to this, see if I'll be able to maybe do something like this. Instead of them ramming down like that. Oh man, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm adding a bunch of random trash for whatever reason, jeez. <laughs> oh man, I can't really add too much more, you know? Uh, it's gonna add even more weight and make it even more likely that it's gonna break and stuff, you know? I don't really wanna add too much more, but... I don't really have much of a choice, you know? Because I could, uh, bring that in a little bit more directly, connect that to the anchor point. Mmm, I don't know. I guess we can just see how that turns out. Let's get a nice big picture view. Nice zoomed out view. Everything seems to be going pretty well here. I'm glad. I'm very, very happy about this. Except for there at the very end. I'm in a little bit of trouble there. So I guess we'll see how this goes. Now they're starting to come out of the portal. That's good. Let's get a zoomed-in view here on this left side, because that's where all the trouble starts. Okay, that guy's kind of tumbling all over the place. And... Uh, for some reason... I really don't know how... I'm like, I didn't do anything on this side or anything, right? I don't know how they're, like, slowing down and making a big traffic jam there at the very end. I guess we could watch out a little bit more closely and see what happens. They're coming down there pretty well. Ooh, that guy tumbles a lot, though. Ooh, that's where, I think that's where it starts, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely where it starts. Ah, man. And I can't really add another you know, roadway here. I guess I, I guess I could. Ah, man, I don't know. I really want to add, uh, adjust this a little bit more. It's just so... Because they're going to be coming out of here and only getting about maybe this much of the uh, propulsion gel. I really want to, like, angle this a little bit better so they get the whole thing, you know? I don't want to have to pause the recording again and try and figure this out again off camera, but I might just have to do that real quick. But you guys can see we got a lot of progress done since I last paused. I think I'm going to pause the recording again and try and figure out these last two problems. Then we having a traffic jam over here, and of course this bridge down here. I'll see if I can figure this out, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh man, you guys, I think I figured it out. You guys, you see, this is way steeper than it was just moments ago. I even kind of incorporated it into the, uh, into the triangle little support things of that bridge right there. And I think we have a really good amount of progress going on right now, guys. I really want to go test out the convoy. I just tested it out just moments ago off camera. It seemed to be pretty successful, so I definitely wanted to save it for on camera to see if it actually ended up working. Or if we have, like, a heckin' last second crash at the end ends everything jeez <laughs> i did uh, adjust this bridge down here a little bit more as well so they don't have as much of a likelihood of uh, just kind of tumbling out of that other bridge you know but right now everything seems to be going just fine let's get a nice zoomed out view they are of course just tumbling all over the place past that oh wait oh i think that oh yep yeah, we got oh which one is that Ooh. oh no man i knew it i knew it i knew it i knew it God, no, man. Ah, oh, right there at the end. Right there at the heckin' end. <laughs> Let's see if I can add a little bit of supports here just by... Just by kind of adding a little bit of that. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, see, that's what happens. <laughs> that's what happens whenever I save something for on camera to see if it's gonna survive. I didn't... I, I must have stopped the convoy before that bit at the end, because I didn't see that, but man, let's see if this ends up working here. Sheesh. <laughs> but at least they all come out of the portal pretty well, I'd say. I mean, even though they do tumble a lot here and there, like, just watch them. All right, they are tumbling a lot. Might want to see if I could fix that a little bit. Kind of a... Ooh, seems like it's going just fine right now, though. Ooh. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Look at that! $255,950 on this level. God, more than a quarter. Heck and mill. Sheesh. Oh, man, this level was crazy. I guess it made up for how easy the last level was. I guess you could call it easy, maybe simple. Either way, it didn't take as long as we took on this level, so sheesh. I think I'm going to call it a day. I don't know if we have enough time for another level this episode, but of course, next episode will be the final level brain transplant. Do you guys want to get a sneak preview of this? Yeah, let's just get a sneak preview. I don't think we've ever done this in this series. Let's get a sneak preview of what brain transplant. The final level is going to be like, ooh. Ooh, doesn't look quite as complicated as I initially thought it would, but I might be speaking a little bit too soon here. No word from GLaDOS on this one. Going to be crossing paths, going to be hitting buttons, danger of falling to sewage, and then, of course, lasers. Let's click the start. Yeah, this 
seems like it might be pretty complicated. 12 convoy. Oh man, the longer convoys, I feel like those are a lot harder, because yeah, of course, more forklifts means more likelihood of them failing and something going bad or down the road, literally. <laughs> and then of them crashing and falling to sewage and all that kind of stuff. Man. It does look kind of complicated, but maybe next episode, whenever we come back, we'll be able to analyze this a little bit better, brainstorm, try and figure out where we're going, what we're doing, and how we're going to get to the end successfully, if we even can. So, I think I'm going to end the episode right here, and of course, next episode, we're going to be doing this little brain transplant. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out, so you do not miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with the final level of Portal Bridge Constructor. Level 60, Brain Transplant, where, I don't know, I feel like we can do it. That level, I thought it'd be a lot harder, I thought it'd be looking a lot more complicated than that, but just by a little bit of a sneak preview we just took right there, doesn't look too bad. So tune in next time, and let's see if we can actually beat it, and I guess I'll see you guys then. Oh, bye there.